If you like this video and want to see more, then please subscribe to the channel. So back in the XKR on a cold winter's day, uh, we're on lockdown at the moment, so I'm not allowed to drive it anywhere. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a couple of jobs that uh, are outstanding. So I've had some requests on how to adjust the gear selector cable, uh, at least how I adjusted it. I didn't do it in exactly the same way as the service bulletin uh, from Jaguar. There's a couple of other issues that I'm going to resolve at the same time uh, that I'll show you. So one of, the, one of the things I've done is a modification I did during the summer was I took the cigarette lighter out there and put a USB charger in, uh, which works really well as a USB charger. But what you find is the door is not going fully back. And I did have some cabling underneath, which I wrapped up, which I think is just fouling. So I'll have a look at that. I think it might have been when I put the subwoofer uh, under the seat, or rather just behind the seat. Also, as you notice, this uh, centre console is not sitting down correctly. And it's pointed out that I hadn't fitted this back correctly. There's two re retaining clips uh, either side, or one either side, which are supposed to sit on top of this wood veneer whereas I've got them sitting underneath, which is the way it was when I took it apart. So hopefully that can be resolved at the same time as well. I've got the foot on the brake, I can take it out of park. You can feel it going to reverse, and you can feel it going neutral. Now, when it's in reverse, I don't know whether you can see, it's, it's sitting slightly forward of the reverse notch. You put it into neutral, and there's quite a gap between where it sits and the neutral position. So I'm just going to adjust the cable slightly. So instead of sitting just there, it's going to sit just a little bit further forward. And I'll demonstrate how I do that and how that compares to what the service bulletin says. Um, now obviously the first thing you need to do is remove the centre console. I have shown this before in another video but I will show it again in this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just remove the cover plate just at the back here. That's easy to do, it just pulls off. That exposes two screws, so I'll take those out. So those are removed now. So the next thing is to take the assembly off here. It's always easier if you just get the gear stick out of the way. Now this is sitting up so it's already unclipped so I'm not quite sure why that is but I'll investigate that further. That comes up and out of the way. So I'm going to take the two connectors off there for the two switches. Uh, the way you do that you have a, a push down tang there and uh, obviously push it down and pull them out. I don't know whether I can do that one handed. Doesn't, you don't need to take uh, note of which position is which, Just the two connectors are different so you can uh, only get them one way around when you put it back in. That then frees this up to come out, he says. There we go. Now the reason you have the gear stick in the position I've got it in now is you find it very difficult to remove this and bring it up and over when the gear stick sticks in its uh, correct position. And so on mine, because it's uh, convertible, I've got another connector down here uh, to undo as well. And I'll give that a go one-handed as well. There we go. Now these are the two uh, little retaining brackets that I was talking about. These should have sat on top of the um, the wood surround that I've just removed, which clamps it all down in place. So I actually don't need to remove them uh, any further at this stage, but when I put that back in again, I'll take these off and I'll put them on so that they are clamping uh, that in place. 
The next bit is the two torque screws. I'll get those removed and then really the whole center console just slides out of the way. So once you've removed the two bolts down there, the center console just slides out of the way. So I'll get the ignition back on, I can move the gear stick, put that all the way into neutral, and my little microphone for the radio. It is as simple as that. So the way Jaguar says to do it is to take the nut off there and disconnect the cable and also go underneath the car, jack it up and take the cable off from the gearbox. But in the majority of cases I don't believe there's any benefit from actually taking uh, the cable off at the gearbox and doing anything down there because you can feel very positively on the gear stick which position the cable's in. Whether it's in reverse, neutral, drive, or even back down to park. So the problem that I originally had was when it went into drive, it only just got into drive. And I was finding at roundabouts and at traffic lights that it would knock itself into neutral even though it was stood in the drive position. And what I did find was when I put it into the neutral position, there was a very, very big gap just here. At the moment, there is a little bit of a gap right against the stop there, because you can see it going in that direction. But what, so, so I'll show you what the procedure is just to adjust the cable, and all the work I did was from the top. So these are the two adjuster nuts here. You've obviously got a thread on either side, so if you simply move these nuts, undo them or do them up, obviously you need to do both of them together, it effectively moves this thread one way or the other, which has an effect of making the adjustment here. Now let's put one each side, so it doesn't stress it. So that's that loosened off. So, loosen the nuts both sides. And if I move that in and out, you'll see that that moves as well. So what you need to do is adjust it. But you can feel there, it's right against the stop. So in effect, what I need to do that is the position it needs to be in. It's nicely in neutral. If I nip those up in that position. See that's maybe a little bit less play than before. dead in the center of there but goes back it goes forwards perfectly in place so all I'm going to do now is get a spanner on each side of this and just nip them both up and job's done so I'm going to do the reverse uh, putting it back in um, as you can see all the wiring just here, it's for the subwoofer. I'm going to try and just move that aside slightly, I think, and put it all back in place, uh, because obviously it was fouling on just here, which is the underside of the ashtray, um, because it was sitting around about in this position. So hopefully that will rectify that issue. Also, I've taken these two brackets off here, it's just uh, two screws on each side, and hopefully when I fit it back in, that will resolve um, the issue I had with the uh, surrounding. So we'll see how we go. So I haven't screwed it back in again, but just let, laid it in place. And as you can see, that opens up completely unrestricted. 
So that's fixed that little issue. So I get these bolts back in. All the connectors are exposed. I'll screw the back in in a little while. So I'll just reconnect uh, those connectors. So these uh, little brackets, they do sit really nicely over the top of there on that side. And on that side. So that's now going to pull all this down probably tighter than it was before. So as you can see, that all fits really nicely now. So the next thing is to get this connected up and uh, see if that fits better as well. What I have noticed is that a couple of these brackets are broken. But we do still have two that are good. So hopefully that will be enough to retain it. Right, so this with this part here, it's important that you get the back tucked in first. Otherwise it can be really awkward. There we go. Because if you put the front in first, the back end, certainly on mine, doesn't go in place. I don't know whether it's the same on all of them. And there we go, that all clips in very nicely. And it looks a lot better than it did before. So there we go, two successes. And also showing you how to adjust the cable. What we can do actually is let's let's prove that it works. In reverse. Neutral. 